Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing an all day wear test on this Fenty Beauty. And as you can see, I've been using it. So this is a Pro Filter Foundation Soft Matte Long Wear. And it says to shake well before using. This comes in a 1.08 fluid ounce bottle. It is glass. Nice presentation. I love the white along the edge and the white cap. So you're about ready to see me test this foundation. And I had ups and downs with it. How about downs and ups? Started with the down, ended on an up. The foundation went on really nice. I probably could use a slightly darker color and the color I'm using is 190. So I think as I get closer and closer to winter, and whatever tiny color I had in my face goes, I think it'll be fine. I look a little ghosty right now. Um, I think that's just because I haven't gotten used to going back to being as ghosty. But um, the foundation went on really nice on the brush. Um, actually, I forgot to film my intro, so this is another day wearing it. So as of today, it went on really nice with the brush. Um, I was able to use concealer. It sets up really, really pretty. So again, I did have some ups and downs, downs and ups with it. So if you want to see what happened, not that it's major, but I still, it still wasn't a, an easy trip. Let's just say that. But anyways, if you want to see the all day wear test, and I would say watch it to the end, Stay tuned. Okay, today we're gonna try the Fenty Beauty. My sister-in-law, Sabrina, the makeup mom, has talked about it several times, so I decided, okay, if she recommends it, it's time for me to try it. So, today we are gonna be doing an all-day wear test. All right, so I'm gonna use today the Sigma Flat Kabuki brush, and the color I'm using is 190. And I started out with the Scandinavia Primer Spray. Today should be a long day for me at work. So we'll get a chance to really see how this performs after a long day. This color may be a little bit too light for me right now. But we're not that far away from winter. So I do expect this to be a better color match over the winter months. All right, let's check it out, shall we? So overall, it's okay on my skin. Um, my nose is showing through, and when I went to kind of blend it, it pulled away from the skin. So let's just grab one of these little bad boys and see if we can pounce that in since my nose is not holding it. So that's not a good sign for me if my nose is not gonna hold the color. Now using the blending brush to kind of pounce it helped a little, but I still see the red through. I'm gonna not be too worried about it because I will do some contour and highlight. So let's see how that works. We're gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my nose. I will wait until I finish my eyes to do the under eye piece. Okay, the concealer bounced in nice. I think we've got some good coverage there. So we're gonna go ahead and set it and today I'm going to use the Stay Matte Powder. This is in Transparent from Rimmel. So again, I'm just going to pounce that in the spots that I just did to give it a... We're going to set that baby. Now again, I'm not going to do my under eyes till I finish my eye look, just in case I have any fallout. Okay, using the Stay Matte Transparent, I'm just going to slightly go over the cheeks 
so that when I do my contour, it's not Okay, sticky. so I got the rest of my makeup put on top of this Fenty Beauty. So I'm all powdered up. Um, I'm all hangover three and one in place. And what time do we have? It is about 7 a.m. So we've got kind of a full work day going. So yeah, it's we're going to see how Fenty, Fenty stands up. Um, again, I didn't like how it... It didn't do good on top of my nose, which is not a good sign, but I do put concealer on top. And when I did the concealer and the powder, it hid like my little Rudolph red nose. So yeah, we're going to see how this uh, performs the rest of the day. I'm going to go do this wicked hair and see if I can't get it kind of under control. And we will do the all day wear test. Okay, so it is the end of a 12 hour work day. Pretty hot outside. You can tell I'm back in my jammies and my hair is in the famous sumo wrestling bun. Except I got some squiggles. Got some squiggles. Um, I do want to say hello, Miss Sis. I didn't get to say that earlier. But um, so yeah, as far as the Fenty foundation, holy crud. I may have just found my new jam. So 12 hours and check out my skin like really i don't even mind getting close and personal so let's bring it on let's bring it on okay here we go so my eyeshadow and eyeliner didn't stand up to the day as you can see my eyes were a watery mess but let's check out the foundation. Obviously, I can't sing like Rai Rai. Okay, my chin, looking good, looking good. My lipstick, looking good. But that's not why we're here. Um, so check out this nose. Like, I totally thought that the nose was going to be my demise today because it didn't start out good. But even though the foundation didn't start out good, like it mixed well with the concealer because holy crap, after 12 hours, nothing has budged y'all. I don't, is this the secret sauce? Is this the secret sauce? This could be the secret sauce. So, and then look at my forehead. Holy crud. Like this is amazing. I'm gonna back you all up. So like, I am super pumped that my face looks, well, this flawless for me, but my nose, it held, it like held. It never holds. So my first impression of this Fenty foundation is actually pretty damn good. I have my chin, I have my nose, my forehead looks good. Um. Yeah, I mean, my eyes were watering and it still held up against a lot of watering. So super pumped about what this looks like after 12 hours. So me and Fenty might be new besties. And I didn't know, I didn't think that I would like cheat on Natasha Denona or Marc Jacobs. But now we have a triple, a triple. A menage a trois of my favorite foundations. <laughs> so we're adding Rihanna with Natasha and Marc Jacobs. But holy crap, this was absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to keep using it because this first impression is one hell of a first impression. Go Rai Rai. So I'm really shocked um, that it's taken me this long to try it. I, had I known that I could get through a 12-hour day, have my nose in place and my chin, I, I'm speechless. And that's hard. Anyone that knows me knows I'm not speechless, but I am right now. So, yeah, this foundation is kick tail. I love it. So anyways, I hope this helped you. If you have tried the Fenty foundation, please put your comments below. Also, let me know what your skin type is because I'm curious. Have you had this kind of luck? Like, 
is this beginner's luck and tomorrow I'm not I don't know I don't know but I want to hear from you are you in love with this foundation have you tried it have you what about now because I want to know how about now all right y'all so um I look forward to reading your comments below have a great one until next time